Good morning, guys. Um, welcome to your Wednesday morning announcement. A um, couple things today. First thing, I've got a couple people asking about grades and how grades are going to work uh, this semester. You probably saw the press release heading from Pitt County Schools and from the state of North Carolina from DPI. Um, it didn't say anything about seniors, which all of you guys are. Um, I asked yesterday at our departmental meeting, at our um, school's departmental meeting, what uh, what we we're going to do about grades for seniors. And apparently it had already been decided, and some of you guys may have already known it. Um, it looks like um, you won't get a letter grade for this six week, for this semester. Um, that you'll pretty much get a pass for this semester as long as you were passing, which all of you were. Um, at the end of the six weeks. Um, that might change, but as of right now, uh, you're not gonna get a letter grade, you're just gonna get a pass uh, for anatomy class. It doesn't mean that you stop engaging. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep making content, uh, probably starting tomorrow on how I'm gonna do a dissection video and how I'm gonna put that up. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any ideas, please let me know, uh, email me, um, talk about it in the discussion board, uh, whatever, you, whatever you need to do. But, um, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to let me know. I know a bunch of you guys are trying to get some scholarships here at the last minute. Um, don't hesitate to email me. I will get you a, um, a letter of recommendation back as soon as possible. Usually within an hour or so of me seeing the email. If it's during the day, that's probably an hour or so of you sending the email. Um, I'll, you know, anything I can do to help you during this time, let me know. Um, it breaks my heart for you guys. It breaks my heart that I'm not going to see you guys. It breaks my heart that we're going to miss out on slicing and dicing the cat. You know, that's one of my favorite times of year. Um, but, but, but we'll see what we can do. Um, one of the biggest questions online for the, for this week, for our lab and for our respiratory discussion was, um, why did the... Why did the man use a pin um, inside of a pin to, to, to rescue breathe for the person after doing an emergency tracheotomy? Okay, so that was my question that I posed to you. Um, most of you guys nailed the, you know, why can't you breathe with a bottle of oxygen in outer space because there's no pressure to put it into your into your lungs. Um, but the, but nobody got it right about why would you use the pin instead of a straw. So I, I have a straw here and I have a pin. So, so there's my straw. This is a paper, uh, earth-friendly straw. And then um, I didn't want to break apart a pen, and so I got the closest thing I could get, which is a Capri Sun straw. Not earth-friendly Capri Sun straw, um, but it's pretty small there. You can get a good idea of what it looks like. But Capri Sun straw, a little bit bigger than a pen, but better than than the option for, for the other straw. A lot of you guys said it was going to be because it was, it was stronger. And, and yeah, no, but if you had a, if you had a perfectly strong straw that was this size, it wouldn't work very well either. The problem is that you have to maintain the back pressure that you that One of the things about the way the, the lungs work is that remember you breathe in actively, you lower the pressure with your diaphragm, but you breathe out passively. You just let your lungs kind of bounce back and release that air. One of the things that's important about that is you have to keep a residual amount of air in your lungs. You always have air in your lungs. You, you there's, there's never a time where you can completely get rid of all of the air in your lungs. Now, if you tried to do an emergency tracheotomy with a regular size straw, okay, what's gonna happen is the tube is so big that you're gonna just dump all of the air out of your lungs very, very, very quickly. And that's gonna cause your lungs to collapse. It's gonna cause your lungs to collapse. And, and that's why you can't do an emergency tracheotomy with a regular size straw. Pin straw or, or a Capri Sun straw as I have here, it's got that much smaller diameter. That much smaller diameter is gonna make the air come out a whole lot slower and prevents lung collapse. Um, it makes the air a little bit harder to get in and out, but it keeps that residual air in your lungs and prevents that lung, the lungs from collapse through an emergency tracheotomy. Now, you don't have to worry about it once you get a real tracheotomy. If you ever seen anybody with a trach tube, you're talking about the size of a dime, but it's because they always keep it covered. They always keep a, a, a keep it keep it uh, sealed up so that um so that you don't have to worry about that lung collapse. But obviously, there's no way to seal up these ends, and and if if you're doing a, a, a rescue breaths through this, 
you're gonna have to get, take your mouth off of it to breathe in. Every time you take your mouth off, the patient's gonna be losing air, and so you need a small diameter versus a large diameter. Kind of neat little deal. Um, I was inspired by that question by one of my favorite movies. It's a German movie called The Princess and the Warrior. I tried to find a good clip of it. Um, all I could find was trailers on YouTube. But um, The Princess and the Warrior on YouTube, directed by Tom Tickwer. That is uh, my my Wednesday morning suggestion for you guys. Um, I don't have anything else for today, guys. Um, sorry, I probably talked longer than I should have. But uh, if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm here for you. Um, I miss you guys terribly and uh, really, really working on what this dissection is going to look at. We also have reproductive to do. That's uh, <laughs> one of those fun things to, to, to talk about, but not quite as much fun here as talking by myself. So uh, we'll probably do some discussion boards on reproductive as well. Please jump on that. Please be active. Let's learn. Let's, let's get some knowledge. That's what we're doing this for, right? So um, let me know if you need anything. Miss you guys. Bye-bye.